Well, it's a good thing I'm using this camera over this one because I tried to uh, uh, save it and it didn't save, so it was like 24 minutes of reading for nothing. So I've got to focus my attention on that camera here and not you. Sorry about that. Okay, I'll continue here. Yeah. All right. Um, seeing the fear in Cotton's eyes, the thing that called itself, Jerry Bill said, I read the whole Koran yesterday in the Moscow apartment, and I was shocked at how so much of your stupid 7th century outlook still managed to find its way into our little old Koran. Did you really think the words I was telling you confirmed the Bible? Really? You really thought so? Jibbil, yeah, Jibbil laughed in, out loud. Cotton detected a mixture of pain with the laughter. The beings only got Cotton in a headlock and started rapping him on the head with his knuckles, this time uh, while Condacy laughing and saying, Hello? <laughs> Hello? Is there any bra kind of brain in that head of, your, of my mo? Hello? Is there a brain in there at all? The, th the being picked picked Cotton up off the floor of the canyon squeezed him to the point where Muhammad felt his ribs beginning to crack. It shook it shook him and said Uh there was no confirmation between our Quran and the Bible, Mo. None at all. Zero. Hello. No confirmation at all, Mo. Zero. They're like night and day. They are like night and day, Mo, like matter and antimatter. No confirmation going on at all for saying so you have made my religion a huge laughing stock at the time of the 20th century as the time of the 10th, 20th century rolls around Cotton made a little cry of terror and, 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 and the thing that called itself Jibril Allah let him go saying I'm sorry it's just that you really need to let me do the writing not you if you add your thoughts to my words, I'm giving you after that ringing sound comes. Well, there's just no way in hellfire that Kabas will be flying about this part of the galaxy incinerating planets of those who don't submit to us. From now on, Mo, when someone asks you a simple question like, where does the sun go when it sets? Guess what you are going to say. Are you going to say something only a vacuous Stone Age caveman would think was profound? Or are you going to say, the sun doesn't set, it only appears to set due to the rotation of the earth? What are you going to say? Cotton gulped and said, I'll say, I'll say, the sun prostrates under your throne? Jibril hissed and slapped Cotton across the face, knocking him up against the cabin wall and shouted, Idiot! Idiot, you stupid asinine idiot! No, no, Mo, you won't say that. Not in this universe you won't. Not on my watch you won't. The sun doesn't prostrate. Nothing prostrates under my throne. The only throne I have is on my ship. And no one prostrates under it unless I am orbiting their planet and they are getting ready for an act of reproduction that would be doggy style. Again, the sun doesn't prostrate. It. Oh, shoot. I've got to stop here. Anyway, this thing is from the future. And it's, it's, uh. Well, you'd have to. I don't want to... Well, it's, anyway, this is from my novel novelette called Call Me Jibril. If you're interested, you can check it out. But 